Good morning. This is Reverend Pam Gagan from the Center for Spiritual Living, Pleasant Valley. Welcome to our meditation, The Big Secret. And I'm so grateful that you are with me today uh, in this time of, uh, of great courage for all Ukraine and for all the world. So if you want to take a shot, a guess at what the big secret is, it's something that's always been with you. And I hope it doesn't disappoint you, but it's never disappointed me. And it's something that is in the deepest part of your soul that has been with you throughout time and eternity. It is something you can always count on in moments of complete stillness, in meditation, and it is something you can count on and connect to in your most stressful, anxiety-ridden moments. Moments when you're stressed out at work, in a traffic jam, in a conflict of any kind, in all situations, both happy and sad. In all situations, it's where we don't wait for the mind to be silent. And it sounds so easy, and it is very easy, but for most of us in our busy lives, it is the greatest uh, challenge that we have. So together, let's connect in that natural state. First, by breathing in, I always say, put your hand on your heart. Because when we put our hands on our hearts, it connects us with our oxytocin. And just breathing in with a God is or whatever higher spiritual concept or idea or entity that you have to connect with, be it God, Jesus, Buddha, the thing itself, it's what lies the deepest in your soul. And then two more silently with a God is. And the in-breath, just feeling peace, flood your body. I am on the out-breath. One more. And if you're listening to me right now, you can even be in your natural state. There's nothing you have to do. Just allow your conscious connection to the divine mind to do what it knows best. Just take place naturally, letting go of all the noise around you. And as Ram Das said, and Muji says, you don't have to try. Just be here now. Simply just be here. Be aware of the indwelling peace that lies in your beingness, not in your doingness. And it's not an outside job. Always. It's coming from the inside. You don't have to search for it. You don't have to dig into the deepest earth, the, hike the highest mountains, dive the deepest seas. Just go deep inside and just allow. Be empty, be empty, just be empty. And it's natural for the mind to pull you back into your personal ego identity. It's always telling you the mind what to do in that third dimensional, physical, material world the phone calls, the meetings, the laundry, whatever should us and could us. In this moment, just let them go. Be with me right here now. 
Let go of mind chatter. Let go of setting any intentions. Just remain empty. Just listen to my voice. Even let go of the desirous nature to want to be at one moment awakened. Just be here now. Let go of entanglements with mindless mind chatter. When thoughts come in, the greatest thing I learned is say, thank you for sharing. I am choosing to let go and listen deeply, connect deeply with no agenda. Open at the top. And you'll notice everything slowing down easily. You begin to notice just the space of being in your own Self, your own soul. And it's so easy and feels so natural because it's effortless and it is who you already are. It's just being empty and allowing. And when chatter comes, just allow it but don't engage with it. Thank you for sharing and let it go. And the more you practice this, wherever you are, driving, praying, with friends, with those who challenge you, with everyday chores, this practice becomes easier and easier because gradually you're training your mind to let go of the chatter and opening your heart. So just remain empty. There's no fight. There's no two out of three falls with an opponent. Just let go and let Divine Spirit fill you. Be one with the natural sense of your beingness, which is the oneness of the everythingness. Not following the mind may be a new concept, and yet it is so simple. You are staying just where you are, revealing who you are, moment by moment by moment, and everything is relaxing in. The noise of the mind is slowing down, and eventually your mind comes in and says, well, what happens next? And your answer is, nothing happens next. You're just simply being here now. And when the thoughts waft in and you begin to notice them, you notice, oh, that was just a thought. In your natural state of being, you begin to realize that you let go of everything outside that no longer serves you and your discerning mind, your discerning heart is sharpened. And the more you practice this, the simpler it gets. And the simpler it gets, the, be the peace of the divine spirit within you remains in you, expresses through you as you. And when mind comes in, it may say, this is too simple. Or on just the other hand, you may feel this is the most difficult challenge you've ever had. And that's a good thing. Be conscious of your being. 
because it's occurring right now, the questioning, when you recognize this is true self-consciousness, self-awareness, and that is where your spiritual power lies, in your self-awareness, your awakening. And the challenge really is wonderful too because it is changing the quality of mind consciousness. And the more you practice this, the more anchored you become. What is most important to me is in your heart energy. The heart is the greatest thinking, loving, emotional. power you have. And the more you become anchored in your heart energy, from that point of love, you'll find your life, how you see things through new eyes, and your energetic vibration soften and become more finely tuned, fearless, open, spontaneous, authentic. And moment by moment, meditation by meditation, by just being empty and listening deeply to this wisdom the seeds you plant in that soil begin to reveal themselves and take you beyond the personal, superficial, changeful appearances. They connect you to the fundamental nature of goodness and help you remain in that fundamental goodness. For you are planting the seeds right here and right now in that soil that is awakening in a world asleep. And these seeds become the strongest, most majestic trees when nourished daily and then moment by moment by moment. And it happens without any stress. It happens very very easily and naturally. When the seed in Muji says, when the seed is nourished in a good place, when it has light, water, perfect soil that you have, you have created, everything is automatic. Everything is then set on a knowingness and a beingness that you constantly connect to, and your growth and deeper understanding is the natural beingness of who you are without even thinking. So just stay with being empty, being open, letting go, letting go of all this mindful chatter, and I guarantee if you stay with it, it will stay with you. Have a bliss, blessed day, holding prayers for the world. And peace out, namaste. I love each and every one of you. God is the power and the presence. Mwah. See you very, see you Sunday with a flame and unafraid, my talk. And also Thursday, join us on Thursday night. Uplift with Pamela Bailey with Spiritual Play. Have a blissed, blessed, wonderful day. And so it is. <laughs>